Hi, boys and girls. Today's reading lesson is going to be about retelling. So this says super readers retell. So we've been talking about building those bigger muscles, build a bigger um, reading muscles for reading. And one of the things that super readers do is we retell stories. And retelling a story means that you're very familiar with the story. It means that you really know the story well. Not only did you read it, but you remember what it said. And really, that's what reading is all about. Yes, it's about enjoying for sure. We've talked a lot about that. Yes, it's for information and learning information. But we want to remember the story. We want to remember the information we learned. So for today's lesson, I'm going to be talking about um, the three billy goats gruff. Do you remember that? Yes, it's one of our old favorite storybooks back from the fall. Oh my gosh, it was so long ago. And um, yes, I grabbed a copy of it before I um, when I went back into school on Monday <laughs> for this lesson last week. Um, so in order to retell, we all need, and to practice this together, we all need to have a familiar story, something that you guys know and something that I am familiar with too, okay? So we're going to use this one. So what do we do first? When we're thinking about three billy goats gruff, you need to be telling who, okay? So who are the characters in that book? Well, the three billy goats gruff, right? Um, yeah, so here they have three people, but really these people are just there to remind you of who are the characters. And in the three billy goats gruff, there are no people. The characters are billy goats, right? So, um, and then if I wanted to be more specific telling who, what would I say? Yes, you're right. The biggest billy goat gruff. The middle size billy goat gruff. And the littlest billy goat gruff. So remember, they were large, medium, and small. Okay, so that's who, the who part of a story. When you're retelling, you tell who. Again, if we're thinking about the three of Billy Goat's Gruff and you want to tell, tell where, okay, we would say, wow, they were out by the meadow. Do you remember that? What else was there, readers? Yep, there was a river. What kind of river? If we want to be more detailed, just like we were detailed writers, we need to be detailed storytellers and retelling. What kind of river was it? Do you remember? Yeah, it was the rushing river. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. It said, but on the way up, there was a bridge over a rushing river. Yeah, I bet you remember that. And then um, they just talked about it, the bridge. So really a lot of the story took place on the bridge. So if we were telling where, this story had a tree and a swing set. So we can assume that this, this book that they're talking about is taking place at a park or maybe someone's backyard. Okay, but Three Billy Goats Gruff was out in the countryside with a bridge and a big meadow and a rushing river. And then we would say, when we retell, we tell what happened. And does this look familiar? Step one, step two, step three. So when we're telling a story, we have to tell the first thing that happened, second thing that happened, and then the third. Okay, so we tell what happened. What happened first? So was it the oldest billy goat or the youngest billy goat that came across? What do you remember? Yes, good. So you use your story language when you're retelling. First, the youngest billy goat gruff decided to cross a bridge, right? And here's where we don't have to, you, you could if you wanted, you don't have to say trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. And then what did the troll say? Who's that tripping over my bridge? <laughs> right? Roared the troll. When we're retelling, we don't have to say that. We're really just saying what happened. Okay? 
You can add in more detail if you can remember. But when we're retelling, we're telling the big parts, not every single solitary detail. Okay? The big part. All right. And then out came the troll. That's right. And the troll said he was going to gobble them up. And how did the littlest goat get out of this whole thing? Do you remember? Yes, good. He said, oh, I'm too tiny. I, you, wouldn't be, you would be hungry if you ate me up. You should wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff. He's much, what, bigger. Yes, good. And then he said, well then, what did he say? Be off with you. Right? All right, good remembering what happened in the story. We haven't read this in so long. So then what happened? We were going to the next idea or the next um, event. What happened next? Yep, the second Billy Goat Gruff came. He went over the bridge and the troll came out and said the same, very same thing. And then the second Billy Goat Gruff said what? No, don't eat me. Wait for the third Billy Goat Gruff. He's much, what? Bigger, right? Good remembering, friends. And then, toward the end, the third Billy Goat Gruff came. And he was so heavy that he creaked the bridge. Do you remember? Good remembering. And then the troll yelled and he said all those things. Who's tripping over my bridge? And then the billy goat said, um, it is I, the biggest billy goat gruff. And then the troll jumped up onto the bridge and he said, you know, and then the biggest one said, was, was, did he say, oh, wait for the next one? No. He said, that will come on over and come at me. I'll use my hooves and I'll use my pointy horns and I'll get you. And then what happened next? There's that story language word again. Next, what happened? He bucked him right into that rushing river, didn't he? <gasps> Can you just picture it, boys and girls? The, the troll tumbling off the bridge and falling headfirst into the river. Yeah. With that crazy hair of his. And then we'd say, last, the billy goat gruff went to his hillside with his brothers and they what? They got, yeah, they got fat, right? So that's how we retell what happened. So it's important to tell who is in the story. It's important to tell where the story happened. And then you also tell what happened. Here's the last thing. We want to tell them in order. I just showed you how to do that in order. But you really, that's where you really want to think about the steps. So you'd say what word, what story language word when you're retelling. First, this happened. Then this arrow is telling you, then this happened. Next, this happened. And would I use the word next again? Or like if there's more than three things happening here, there's just one, two, three. And there were more than three boxes of events that happened in Three Billy Goats Gruff, right? So you might say next and then and after that. And then maybe you go back to next again. And then you try then again. And maybe then you get to last. Or you could use what other word? Yeah, finally, you could say too, right? Okay, so super readers, retell stories. And the very best way to retell a story is one that you're really familiar with, like the Three Billy Goats Rough. We all knew that one. So I want you to choose a story at home that you have read maybe a million bajillion times with your parents because it's a favorite. Maybe it's Dragon Loves Tacos or Dragons Love Tacos. Maybe it's um, The Three Bears. Maybe it's um, any, any book that you really love, okay? But it really has to have a good storyline. So like the book, um, The Book With No Pictures, that's a really hard book to retell, okay? Because there are really no characters in it. So I want you to pick a really good storybook 
a storybook that has characters that has that you can talk about where it happened um, and then tell me what happened and tell me in order okay so that is your next job after you listen to this video you're going to turn it off then you're going to run up to your room or wherever your books are in your house and just go through all those this big stack of books that you love 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 and then I want you to practice retelling and I want you to practice retelling on your hands who and then you put up the next finger where tell what happened and tell it in order okay the last thing you're gonna do is then ask a grown-up for help and I'd like you to retell your story on seesaw so I can hear you practicing retelling a story all right you are ready super readers to do your retelling um, remember, it does not have to be the three Billy Goats graph. It's your choice. Have fun.